The Canadian Institute of Planners formed in 1919. It's the professional association of registered professional planners. We connect everything. We are the voice of Canadian professional planning in Canada. Climb's got such a wide range of skills and diversity, and we're embedded in every kind of level of, of the, the community, whether it's at the federal, the provincial, municipal, nonprofit, private sector, which is actually quite interesting. Planners are on the front lines of climate change because they have to be, they need to be, and they should want to be there because we're seeing the effects of it on the ground. We're seeing demonstrable outcomes as a result of climate change. Planners have become more and more conscious of climate change. It's the lens, it's how you have to start. You have to start by determining how the changing climate is going to affect your community. You go across the country and you start in Atlantic Canada, it's sea level rise. If you go into major urban areas, the heat island impact. Uh, in Ontario, it's intense rainstorms. You know, you get into northern Ontario, it's fire. You come across the prairies, it's drought. Into BC, it's various insects. And then you get into the west coast, it's sea level rise and subsidence. And in the north, it's the loss of ice. That ice along the shore actually was a protection. Climate change is perplexing, it's complicated, the issues are interconnected, but I think planners have the skills and the culture that's required to really unpack these issues, understand the nature of the context, and do something useful about it. There's a lot of excitement and a recognition of the opportunity that, that planners have to make an influence on public policy in Canada. Planners really write the policies that new build form should follow. They are also very much involved in the design of new communities. And then you start to layer on top of that uh, what I would call sort of a harder sustainability program that's looking at energy, water, waste, greenhouse gas emission release. We actually try to set the foundation to creating uh, the places that will be sustainable and will also be adaptable into the next, you know, three, four, five, many, many generations to come. Our role is to facilitate those conversations and work, I think, as much in coalition ways that we can do, you know, going way beyond our traditional borders and boundaries and professions to be able to look at how we can make those kinds of transformative changes. The Canadian Institute of Planners has had at least a 10-year commitment to planning for climate change, building capacity amongst its membership. We have an updated policy statement and set of principles and guidelines for practice on how to deal with climate change. Our policy says it is imperative that every single planner consider climate change within the framework of their position. If you have 7,000 planners across Canada acting at all levels of government and civil society, and they are all recognizing the value of looking at their practice through a climate change lens, that's where we can have small change and large change because it is everybody's public interest to have a sustainable community and environment to live in.